have tested our first order factor model okay and we got we had emp to and lex and we said that well we have these three items for emp four items for to and we had three items for lex we have these three items for lex and we have these covariances that we model between the latent factors first order factors now once you do this there is there are two things that come that we need to check next which we call as convergent validity and discriminant Validity. Now, in order to compute these, there are two indices that are computed. One is called as the composite reliability. Which is denoted by CR. Okay. And the formula for CR is, it says it goes like, you have i varying from 1 to k number of items in the construct summation lambda lambda i whole square divided by summation lambda i whole square again for all i plus summation 1 minus lambda i square for all Okay, so this is basically the formula and what does composite reliability say? Composite reliability is again, uh, just like Cronbach alpha, it is a measure of inter item consistency after accounting for measurement errors. So now this CR is computed from the measurement model. What is lambda i? Lambda i, remember, it is always standardized factor loading it is always and always standardized factor loading so how do we what is it that we do to so if we have for example let us take this example of emp let us say it had loadings of 0 0.6 0 0.7 and point these were the three loadings of emp so what will be the composite reliability for EMP? So we'll write it as composite reliability for EMP is going to be 0.6 plus 0.7 plus 0.8. Summation lambda whole square divided by 0.6 plus 0.7 plus 0.8 whole square plus summation so we'll add this 1 minus 0.6 square plus 1 minus 0.7 square plus 1 minus 0.8 square so this gives us an estimate of measurement error associated with each of these items. Lambda is the loading, so 1 minus lambda square is the 
estimate of the measurement error. And this number, Cron, just like Cronbach sulfur, composite reliability should also come out to be greater than 0.7, which would mean that, uh, so again, this would mean that reliability, we said variance of true divided by the total variance of the true divided by the variance of observed, right? So that means there is at least 70% data, 70% of the items is can be attributed to the true construct EMP, right? So composite reliability and composite reliability greater than 0.7 is a condition for convergent. That means all these items converge onto the latent factor EMP. So these are adequate or right items for the latent factor EMP. Similarly, you will compute CR for TO and you will compute CR for NEX. Right? So this is the convergent validity uh, computation. Then we have another 